my family, when King Charles revealed that he allegedly had been diagnosed with cancer, UK Media, the first thing that came to their minds, his hurry coming to see Charles, will there be a reconciliation? The same thing has happened with Kate Moulton. When Kate revealed that she allegedly had cancer, as in past tense, the first thing that came to the minds of the Wikimedia is Harry coming. Will there be a reconciliation? And then, right after they say that, then they're like, no, 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 no. You know what? Hold it right there. William and K. Moulton don't want any kind of reconciliation with either, with either Harry or Meghan. My family. In fact, that's even what they're saying right now. It goes to show that Tukimedia Media will do anything to bring Harry and Meghan's name, names into something that doesn't even involve Harry or Megan and Prince William himself keeps on briefing against Harry and Megan using Harry and Megan's names to deflect from all questions about my family Kate Moulton because the fact is Kate has never ever been seen publicly and already people are casting doubts on the video played or released by Crystal Palace of someone who they claim is Kate Moulton revealing that she allegedly had cancer. People are saying it's AI. My family. And the fact is Kate hasn't really been seen publicly. She has not. That's my family a fact. That's a fact. It appears also that my family, it will take more months before Kate is even seen. That's if she's ever going to be seen publicly. Now my family, William is leaking. And uh, here is what William is saying once again about Harry. Prince William is saying that he will refuse to reconcile with Prince Harry if and when Prince Harry visits. Now, my family, there is this obsession or belief that uh, Prince Harry will be attending what they're calling the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games charge service in May, which will be held back in England. And they're claiming, tablets are claiming, Harry is expected to be there. My family. And because of that, they're saying that even if Harry visits, William won't see him. William won't speak to Prince Harry. In my family, we know that. You know, the thing is, Harry said that illnesses sometimes have the ability to bring families together. But the word Harry used was families. 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 The royal family are not really a family. They're a farm. A business. You know? That prioritizes, you know, how they lose the public, their appearances, their image, over how it feels, over how members of my family, the royal family, feel, like Harry Meghan. The found never cared. The bullying and the abuse towards Meghan had an effect on Meghan's mental health. They never cared one bit. They never cared. They only cared about how they looked. Their appearance to the public. That's all they cared about. And clearly, what they wanted 
is to see Harry Meghan broken, to prop up William and Kim Moulton. What they wanted and still want is to destroy Harry Meghan, to prop up William and Kim Moulton. And my family, for as long as Harry and Meghan are thriving, living their best ever lives, then my family, I don't believe you will see any kind of reconciliation between Harry and William. And guess what? That, in my opinion, is for the best for Harry, Meghan, Archie, and also Lilibet, Diana, my family. You know? Right now, the tablets are claiming that Prince Harry Meghan will try to reconcile with William in May and Kim Moulton in May. However, Kismo Palace is currently doing the most to once again say that William and Kate will thwart any attempt at reconciliation or even an olive you know, branch extension from Harry Meghan. You know? My family, the same Harry Meghan, once again, have offered support to Kay Moulton right now after she revealed that she allegedly had cancer. Past tense. But yet, you have William briefing against Harry Meghan. You have William Constantly throwing a tantrum. Oh, if Harry comes over in May, I won't see him. I won't even speak to him. You know, who said that Harry even wanted to meet up and see Prince William? Who said that? Who said that? Who said that, my family? Who said that? Who said that Meghan in particular, <laughs> especially Meghan, wants to see William or even Kim Moulton? Who said that? I mean, my family. I can believe anything really. But then, when you tell me that Megan wants to meet up with William and Kim Moulton, I think you've lost the plot. You've, you've lost the entire plot. After all the hell they put Megan through, why would Megan want to meet up with either William or Kim Moulton? Why? After all the hell they put Megan through. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. And no person who is smart or intelligent should believe that. Because it's all a bunch of lies. There is no way Megan ever wants to meet up with William McKimilton. Because Megan even knows the person who's want to destroy her for a very long time is Prince William. Even who can forget the Harry and Megan documentary? Megan's reaction to finding out that Jason North, William's AD, had issued a statement in court against Megan. Who can forget Megan's reaction? Because I can't. It's your brother. It's your brother. It's your brother. It's so obvious. It's so obvious. It's him. It's him. It's him. It's your brother. It's him. Who can forget that? Who can forget that? Reaction from Megan. You know? And Megan was asking Prince Harry. Prince Harry, I mean, how do we deal with this? How do we handle this? Harry was telling Megan, you know, I'll find a way to handle this. Megan asked him. How do we deal with this? How do we handle this? You know? Because William is hell-bent on destroying Meghan and Harry. And he's targeting Harry's wife. You know? And my thought, that's why all this about Kate's appearance, we do have to ask questions about William's involvement. You know? We do have to ask questions about the part William has played in Casey's appearance. And the fact is, no one has seen William's you know, face in supporting K. Moulton during K. Moulton's supposedly you know, difficult time, as she claims to have allegedly had cancer. No one can see William supporting his wife. Nobody, nobody. I mean, even when Kate was revealing that she allegedly had cancer, past tense again, my family. William wasn't there to be by Kate's side. That's a fact. William was not there to be by Kate's side. That is a fact. That is the reality. You know? However, you can be like, you know, 
William is supporting Kim Bolton. William will care for Kim Bolton. And then we only saw him going to the clinic. They said Kim Bolton was in once, 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 once. And then when Kate announced that she allegedly had cancer, William also wasn't there to be by his wife's side. But to Kimja, like, William is supporting K. Moulton. Even that video of my family, K. Moulton, who we can't confirm if it's real or not. People are saying it's AI, my family. So my family, I don't know yet. But I'll try to find out even more about this. So my family, basically, even that video of K. Moulton, if it's real or not, was not. My family, we don't have an idea if it's real or not. We really can't confirm fully because of suspicions from people that it is AI made. Now, my family, once again, because of that video, K. Moulton, in that video, said that William is supporting her. And people only are asking, but, 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 where is William? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is your husband? We can't see him there. We can't see him there. Even when Kate was at that so-called clinic in London getting treatment after surgery, William was only seen there, going there once, once, one time, one time. And Camilla made a point to be seen there constantly, frequently visiting Charles. Frequently. Camilla made it a point to be seen just going there to see Charles time and time again, day after day. Camilla made it a point to do that. William was only there once, you know? William was only seen going there once, once, just once, just once. And then when Kate announces, announces that she allegedly had cancer, William also isn't there to be seen next to Kate Moulton. <laughs> So my family, so my family, honestly, you know, these two, William and Kim Wilton, clearly these two are living extremely, extremely separate lives. And my family, right now, if this video is proved to be a fake, if this video is a fake, then my family, people should be asking if Kate is even alive. If it's proved to be a fake, right now, they're just suspicions, my family, that the video is, you know, fake. But if it really is a fake, then the question that people should not be asking is if Kay Moulton is even alive. My family, I hope she is. For a kid's sake, I hope she is. Because those kids deserve to have their mother by their side. Taking care of them. You know, bringing them up. So my family, you know, basically right now, to see that even during this time, William is still bringing Harry and Meghan, their names, into something which my family, you know, clearly has nothing to do with Harry and Meghan. Just to distract from whatever's going on in the royal fold, in the royal family. You know, my family is just too much. It's really just, uh, it's too much. It is really, really too, too much, my family, you know? Because even now, Harry's spokesperson has never ever said Harry is coming for this Invitas game service in May to the UK. They haven't said that. They have not said that at all. Harry did say, you know, he has some trips planned that will take him through the UK. That's what Harry said. So we don't know if Prince Harry will be there in the UK for the Invitas game service in May. We have no idea. We don't know. At least I hope he doesn't go. Because every single time, you can see that carnival of so-called experts want to bring Harry back into that cycle of drama, create drama around him, you know, make money off of him. You know, because the moment Harry lands the UK, first question, I can assure you will be the first question, will he see Charles? Will he see Kim Moulton? Will he see William? Will there be a reconciliation? And then after he leaves, UK media act like they know everything about Harry's visit. It happens again and again and again and again and again every single time. It's like clockwork. You can even predict what's going to happen, you know? And you can are creating this drama. They are the ones doing it. Because clearly, they have no interest in any kind of conversation between Harry 
you know, and the and the farm. They want Harry back by force, yes, in the Gilded Gage, my family in the cage, back in the UK by force. That's what they want. And they want Harry alone, miserable, on his knees, humiliated. That's what, that's what they want, fam. That's what they want. You know, and when you see what they want, you understand they don't really want a reconciliation. They just want to see Harry humiliated. That's what they want. They want Harry to lose his own family in the process of trying to heal the rift with William, Charles, Kate, or Camilla. That's what they want. You know? That's what they want. You know? And Harry must never allow, you know, you commit to, to destroy his own family. You know, because his family is, is special. Megan, Archie, Libet are special. They're his family. They belong to him. And he must not allow William or anyone to ruin his own family, to destroy his own family that he has built for himself. You know? That God has given him. My family. You know? Because sadly, that's what the farm wants. That's what William wants. To see his brother destroyed. William doesn't want any kind of healing or mending of the rift with Harry. If he sees Harry thriving, living his best life, earning millions, my family, William can never ever want to heal or mend any rift with Harry. Never. That's not going to happen, my family. So really, I hope Harry doesn't come in May to, to the UK. Or at least anytime soon. Unless it's about my family's court cases. Or if or if it's about my family in a world child awards, like he always comes to the UK for the world child or for the world child awards to see, you know, the kids. I hope if it comes, it's, it's for that my family. That way you can be unable to get drama around him. You know, using his name for drama. And then when he leaves, it's like, you know what, Harry, Charles only gave you 30 minutes of his time to be with you. So you see. He doesn't care about you. Are those people interested in healing or many any rift? They clearly are not. They are not. They are not. And anyone with common sense can see it. You know? When Harry is there, he's abused with the Comedia. You Comedia believe they can make demands to Prince Harry. And the Prince Harry to follow their demands to the T. You know? When he doesn't, they keep on abusing him. You know? That's what Wikimedia do time and time again. When he leaves, Wikimedia get briefings from the royal family. Or, you know, Harry wanted this and that. And things which we can't even confirm if they're true or not. When he leaves, Carnival, all so-called experts act like they know everything, you know, Harry did in the UK. And yet they can't even tell you the hotel that they claim Harry was staying in or has stayed in the farm because they always say that Harry stayed in a hotel in the UK. But they can't even tell you the name of the hotel Harry stayed in. They can't. They can't. They can't. But they act like they know everything from Harry's visit, from Harry's, you know, visit to the UK after he leaves. They know nothing. They know nothing. But they're always invested in trying to create drama around Prince Harry. You know, the last time Harry was even in the UK to see Charles, ITV paid for a helicopter to follow Prince Harry's motorcade when Harry was in the UK. That's what ITV did while saying that Harry is unpopular. While also giving a platform to people who abuse Harry and Meghan for clicks, for engagement, for a story, for a narrative, to create an, uh, a narrative, and then they tell you that, you know, will Harry reconcile with Charles? How can there be any kind of reconciliation when you came with the still abuse it was Harry and Meghan on the orders of senior members of the royal family? There can't be. There can't be any kind of healing or mending of any rift between Harry my family and members of the royal family they, they, they can't they, they can't you know in my family anyone with common sense clearly can see it you know and my family just hear what my family is being said they are saying that Harry's decision to contact Kate and William privately in the wake of a 
alleged cancer diagnosis may have signaled a toe in fraternal relations and that such devastating health cares often change perspectives and priorities. However, if Prince Harry harbors any hopes of reconciling with his brother and sister-in-law during an expected visit to the UK in May, he will be likely disappointed. But Dr. Media will tell you, oh, is there going to be any kind of reconciliation? They don't want a reconciliation. They don't want a reconciliation. They don't. You know, and Harry himself should not waste his time. And they're saying that Harry is hoping, not that he will, Harry is hoping to attend a private service at St. Paul's Cathedral to mark the 10th anniversary of the In Victor's Games. His travel plans have not yet been confirmed. You know? But having recently lost his legal battle to the government over his right to automatic protection in the UK, he is unlikely to be joined by Meghan or their kids, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet Diana. But from that part of what they have said, you know, there is no way Harry brings Meghan or Archie or Lilibet, his family, to the UK because he knows it's unsafe. Which is what, of course, you give me their want. They want Harry back alone. And my family, I do fear that all these attempts at driving Harry back to the UK, you know, using some excuses or, you know, what is a service, you must attend the, this event he can't miss. It's all about trying to, you know, find a way to, to force Harry to stay permanently. And to keep him from Megan actually really bad. Because Yuki Media have incited so much hatred towards Megan actually bad that, that has made it unsafe for Harry to bring his own family, Megan actually bad to the UK. It's about find, finding a way to keep Harry there. You know? And my family, you know, I hope that Yuki Media don't succeed and I hope that Harry can see right through them. And doesn't allow Yuki Media to destroy his family. You know, my family, that's my hope. That is my hope. My family and their saying that Prince Harry's solo visit could therefore prove an opportune moment to build bridges with his brother, from who he has been estranged from for many, many months. But such a development would require will on both sides. And sources close to William are saying, with everything else, the family is coping with the Harry problem is the very last thing on their minds. My family, that's what they are saying. My family, that's what they are saying. And they're calling Harry a problem. Do you see how they view Prince Harry? Do you see how they view him? Do you see how they speak of Prince Harry? You know? Do you see how they speak of him? They call him a problem, the Harry problem. Because for years, they have tried to destroy him and have failed, but they keep trying to destroy him. And no matter what they've done, they haven't been able to succeed in destroying Prince Harry. But they keep trying to destroy him. You know? My family. And because of that, because of their inability to destroy Harry Meghan, William is never ever going to want any kind of healing or meaning of any rift with Harry. No way, no way, no way. Because he has failed to destroy Harry and Meghan. That's why William won't want any kind of healing or meaning of any rift because he has failed in his mission, his quest at destroying Harry and Meghan's marriage and ensuring his brother is unhappy just like he is in his marriage to Kate Moulton. My family, you know, and my family, basically, and also, before I forget, you can't say that uh, there can be a time to heal or mend bridges just with Prince Harry alone. 
my family, even if Harry is to somehow reconcile with William and K. Morton and Charles and Camilla. And these people don't want to say sorry to Meghan or continue the bullying of Meghan. My family, there won't be any kind of reconciliation. There won't. There won't. There will not. It's not going to happen. There won't. And that's a fact. You know, because it's Megan who the farm have to destroy. I've tried to destroy and keep trying to destroy. Not really Harry. You know? The farm hopes to destroy Harry by destroying Megan first. You know? The farm hopes that if they destroy Harry and Megan's marriage, they can deem Harry and Megan's star power, which is bright and brighter despite more than seven years of smear campaign against Harry and Megan. The star power is bright and brighter. People want to work with Harry and Megan. People want to associate with Harry and Megan. You know, and that tells you this smear campaign has failed. You know? So you can't say that can be, you know, healing or remaining of any rift. And then you say that Megan is to be left out of, out of it. You can't. You can't. Just like I said, Harry can't have peace talks with Charles and William. And then Megan is in there. Those are not peace talks. Those are not peace talks. Because the one who has been harmed so badly... Because the lies being spread against her by the Wiki media and the farm, it is Megan, it is Megan who has been harmed. It is Megan who thought of taking on life. It is Megan who lost a child. You know, it's Megan. My family, who said herself, this hate campaign has put her life in danger. And the ones behind the hate campaign. Are Charles and William and Camilla and Kim Moulton and the Oki media. You know? They are the ones behind that hate campaign. So you can't have peace talks and then say, you know, Megan, you know, won't be there. It'll be only Harry. Harry's solo visit. And therefore we can heal or mend, you know, bridges without Megan there. Those are not peace talks. Those are not peace talks. Those are not peace talks. They are not. Let nobody lie to you about that. They are not peace talks, my family. They are not peace talks. They are just, my family, an attempt at... Uh, isolating Megan. They are attempts at isolating Megan. My family, that is what it is. To create a rift between Harry and Megan. That is what the farmer are doing. And Harry must not allow that. Harry must stand firm and say, If... Megan isn't there in any peace talk between us, then it isn't a peace talk. Because if it doesn't, my family, if it doesn't, then it means that Megan has been, my family, isolated and also my family alienated. That is what my family it means. And Harry must not allow Megan to feel that way or even think that way, my family. Because I feel like that's what the farm are trying to do to get a rift between Harry and Megan. And they hope that the farm. William and Charles and Kira and Camilla never ever succeed. You know? So my family basically you know right now they're saying that you know if there's a the moment that William and Kim could envisage could envisage allowing Harry back into the inner circle now is not the time. My family, that is what they are saying. And also, this entire piece paints Harry in a negative light as someone who is in the wrong and who says somehow, you know, fix some issues with William and Kim Moulton and Kelsa Camilla. Harry has never ever done anything wrong. The only thing Harry has ever done is protect Meghan Archie Ribet from their abusers, which are, who are William, Kate, Charles and Camilla and the Wikimedia. So Harry has nothing to apologize to William and Kim Hilton for. However, William is the one who must get on his knees and say social Megan for the hell he put her through. Harry and Megan lost a child and it's William's fault. I blame William because he played a huge part in putting Megan through so much stress by assisting Daily Mail in my family, Megan's court case against the Daily Mail. Don't forget Harry blames the stress put on Megan because of that case on them losing their unborn child. And William 
was assisting Daily Mail in that court case. So really, you can also blame William for the loss of Harry Meghan's child. So, so William is the one who should apologize to Harry and Meghan for the pain he put Harry and Meghan through. You know? So there's nothing that Harry or Meghan should apologize for. And there can be no peace talks when you're saying that it's only Harry who we want to talk to. It's only Harry who we want to allow back in. We can, we, can, we can think about allowing back in into our circle. Those are not peace talks. They are not. They are not. There are more attempts at you know, creating a wedge between Harry and Meghan. And my family, I do hope that uh, the farm never ever succeed in their evil put against Harry and Meghan and the kids. My family, now you tell me, Kylie, your thoughts about what we have just discussed. I want to hear your opinion, family. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, and all of you members who are at home. Hey, never wins. Love wins. And stay tuned to our next video. Love you also forever. And may God bless each and every single one of you. Hey, never wins. Love wins. And stay tuned to our next video. Love you also forever, my family. You know? One last thing. The mention of Harry and Meghan's security issues in the UK in the same breath, you know, as Harry's potential May visit to honor Invictus to mark the 10th anniversary of Invictus Gaming family. The point is, is that they want to demand that Harry should come back so they can put him in physical danger. All while Britain is making a bid to host the Invictus Games. My family, first of all, I hope that, you know, the UK doesn't secure its bid for the Invictus Games and family. I do hope that they don't win. You know, I thought that South Korea, in my, actually Japan, Tokyo had won, but my family, it appears that not yet, not yet, not yet. And my family, I do hope that they don't win. You know, Britain does not win my family, does not win my family. I hope they don't win. And I hope one other country, let's say South Korea, or any other country, just my family wins the bed for hosting the Invitas Games. And clearly, you give me the want to put her in danger. And my family, Harry, must not put himself, you know, or be in a place whereby he knows it's unsafe. And clearly, Britain is unsafe for Prince Harry, Meghan, Archie, Lily, but because of the hate campaign by the UK media and the farm against Harry, Meghan, and their kids. Harry has a family to take care of, my family. He has Meghan, Archie, Lily, Dana. And I hope that Harry also prioritizes his safety. Because Archie, Lilibet, and Megan need him in my family, their lives. So stay tuned for the next video. Love was forever and may God bless you, my family. He never wins. Love wins. And stay tuned to our next video. Love you also forever and may God bless each and every single of you. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much family from the bottom of my heart and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.